Share your love and creativity for baking. Bake more memories with tried and trusted Royal Baking Powder. Last Friday on the Tastemaster SA, in the first elimination challenge, the bottom two discovered they would both be going home. The challenge was to bake the perfect tart that would tell stories of each contestant's fondest holiday memories. After a tough two hours, it was Pinky and Lynn who waved goodbye. Now, ten contestants remain, and with a royal baking powder pin in hand, Tehila and Zakes each have the power to save themselves or a friend from the next elimination. I'm feeling pumped for the week because I've got this pin, and no matter where my confidence takes me and how I'm safe. Pinky and Lynn are gone, and it is bittersweet, but we just have to keep the ball rolling. Since I won the eliminating challenge, I eco pray as long as this one is confident, this one is comfortable. I'm very relieved seeing Lynn go when I feel that she was possibly my biggest competitor. Oh, I'm so relieved. It's a new week. Last week is over. I'm going to start again. Welcome back into the kitchen. And welcome to the top 10 of the Tastemaster SA. Yeah. Some of you must still be feeling the burn from last week's elimination challenge. For those of you that didn't bake, you must be feeling pretty well rested. Catherine, you narrowly escaped elimination in the last round. How do you feel about that and are you going to bring your A game today? I'm going to focus more on my flavours and less on the aesthetic of my dessert for sure. Right, on to the theme of today's challenge. It's something that you've definitely baked with before. Maybe more so during the holidays. Maybe Christmas, Easter, Eid, Diwali. All of these have something in common when it comes to sweet treats. I'm referring to the sweet aroma and taste of spice. I'm really good with spice, but I uh, just need to be careful not to put too much. I don't have a great relationship with spice. I feel like I eat very bland food. When baking with spices, some classics have stood the taste of time. Cinnamon, cloves, ginger come to mind. But this is not limited to hot cross buns and gingerbread cookies. For today's challenge, we've invited a very special guest judge to help us explore the magical world of spices. She's a legend when it comes to traditional Cape Malay cuisine. She's a cookbook author and from her historic home in the Boerkop, she shares her heritage and wisdom through her food. Please welcome Feruza Abrahams. Hi contestants, thank you for having me here today. I'm excited to teach you all about spices. When people think spice, they think heat and not necessarily sweetness when it comes to dessert. And I really want you guys to explore this today. Let's think about baking with spices, think savory, think out of the box. There's just so many aspects to baking with spices, cooking with spices. And I hope that I can teach you guys um, all about that today. I'm excited to do that. Oh, well on that note, Feruza will be giving you a spicy masterclass today. She will be focusing more on some of the unique spices that you can use and incorporate in your baking. Come and join me. I'm hoping to learn about different spices, spices that I haven't learned or seen. I've never baked with spices before, so going into this masterclass, I'm hoping that I obtain some new skills and just learn a lot from it. And for you guys at home, we'd love for you to spice up our lives with your baking. We're giving away 12 KitchenAids, one every week. Bake something spicy using royal baking powder, Post it up to the socials using the hashtag the TasteMasterSA and you could win your very own. Well, we can't wait to see you bake up more spicy memories. Up next, our contestants head to the historical Burkhardt for a spicy masterclass with guest judge Fajruza Abrahams. And congratulations to our viewer winner for episode one, Nadine Gartenbach Skolz, who walks away with her very own kitchen aid stand mixer for baking a banana chocolate chip cake that reflects her creative and adventurous personality. 
Why not order from your oven? With precision, raise your standards and make it matter. AEG, challenge the expected. Going into this masterclass, I'm hoping to learn how to balance spices because that's something I've definitely struggled with in the past. I think I struggled with it in the elimination challenge. I know Feruza is a specialist in Malay cuisine and it's something that I know is a very rich cuisine culture. So I'm very excited to attend her masterclass. Good morning, guys, and welcome to my home. How are we feeling this morning? <laughs> awesome. Excited to bake. I really wanted to teach you guys um, about spices. So spices are not only used um, for cooking. I absolutely love baking with spices, and this is what it's all about here. So what we are doing today, I'm making monkey dough bread. So today I'm going to use anise seed, and then we'll garnish it with a lovely few um, extra things as well. So the first thing I'm going to do, five cups of all-purpose flour, half a cup of sugar, salt, yeast, baking powder, and a seed. And remember guys, I said less means more. I'm gonna mix that. So I've got butter here, about a quarter pound of butter, 125 grams of butter. That's gonna go in. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm going to crumble this into the flour. I'm looking for little pebbles. So don't rush the process, guys. This is really important. So oh, this just reminds me of growing up. Um, I grew up in this household. My dad was born in this house. My grandpa was born here. My great-grandpa was born here. <laughs> Being in this masterclass, I'm learning a lot about myself. I'm learning a lot about my heritage, where my family stems from. And I think it's interesting to know that these are my people. So this is what I'm looking for, guys. And when you squeeze it, can you see that it almost holds a little bit of a shape? Because the butter has been incorporated into it. The next thing is to actually mix your wet ingredients. Three cups of lukewarm milk. Two eggs. I'm simply going to whisk my eggs lightly. So I'm simply going to start in the middle. And I'm going to mix that for a bit. Just watching her, seeing the feel that she has for the dough and how she respects it. I think that was invaluable because you can't read that out of a book. And I've got here olive oil today, guys. But I'm simply just going to dab that on my, on my dough. And what that does, it almost brings the dough together. Why do you use royal baking powder and yeast? I love the combination, especially on a cold day of yeast with baking powder because I feel like we need that little bit of extra. And also flavour. Baking powder absolutely contributes to flavour. So this is going to prove for about 45 to 50 minutes. In this masterclass, I'm just watching how much love Farooza is putting into her dough. That's the only thing I'm seeing right now. Voila, we have a beautifully well-behaved dough. The idea is to knock this down and then I'm gonna form little balls. I've put a little bit of oil and a little bit of flour. I'm going to knead it. Knead, knead, knead. The spice that I'm going to use today, one of my favorites, a Lebanese spice, za'atar spice. And what goes into it? Dried oregano, dried thyme, um, sumac, toasted sesame will give you this beautiful spice. I have never heard of za'atar. I am honestly so amazed by this aromatic spice and just the combination to make that spice. And then I want to show you a little trick my grandmother taught me. Squeeze. And you're actually getting... Can you see that? Do that. Just give them all a little bit of love. So now I'm simply going to start doing that. What the rolling of this does, it tucks it under and it creates a nice little, neat little ball. That's what it should look like. Wow. Okay, so now egg wash so that the toppings can stick to it. 
guys, so this is where we have fun. Let's start with some chives. Smoked paprika that you love. I'm gonna put a little bit of cheese on that. Zatar. Some cilantro, coriander. Go in with a little bit of sumac. Some fennel. So remember you can do whatever you want to. Okay, so this is ready to prove. I'm learning to combine spices with dough. This is something very new to me. I didn't know that this, this was actually a technique that you could use in bread. Seeing the passion that she puts into her food and the love that she puts into it really inspires me. Guys, our bread is done. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, that can handle the heat. Sure. <gasps> That's what it should look like. Here it is. Our labor of love, the lovely bread that we baked. Guys, you absolutely must have a taste of this bread with the cheese. I will see you guys back in the kitchen. Wow, that bread looks incredible. If bouncing on a cloud had a taste, it would taste like that bread. This tastes like home. Honestly, one of the best breads I've ever had. I'm very inspired to make my own bake. Who will influence the nation with their creative bakes? Bake more memories with tried and trusted Royal Baking Powder. Up next, feeling inspired by the masterclass with Feruza, it's time for the Spice Challenge. But there's a twist. What's happening? I'm just looking around at all the contestants. <laughs> Walking into the kitchen, I'm seeing chalk, blackboard, something is covered. I wonder what it is the judges are cooking up now. I don't like seeing these baking tins. I'm freaking the hell out. Welcome back to the kitchen, everyone. I hope you've learned a lot from Fayruza. Thank you, Fayruza, for the inspiration. Before we get to the next bake, we want to see who was paying attention during the masterclass. Contestants? In front of you, each one of you have identical portions of a unique bake containing eight unique spices. You may reveal. What you're going to have to do next is taste it and identify each spice one by one. I thought we were gonna to bake today. Now it's this little challenge thing with tasting and knowledge. I should have concentrated in a masterclass more. Here's how it's going to work. Starting from the top left-hand side, working your way across each row, you will taste the bun and identify the spice. You will then write it down. All of this needs to be done in 30 seconds. After which, we will reveal the answer. Make sure that you keep your answer secret. It's a competition after all. Each contestant will then have the opportunity to lift up their board and reveal their answers. The first two contestants that get incorrect answers will not be baking today. Instead, they will go directly into the elimination challenge. Mm -hmm. That immediately makes the pressure so much higher, just knowing that two people are immediately going to the elimination round. Let's spice things up in this kitchen. Are you ready to taste your first bun? Yeah. You can start now. Remember, you have 30 seconds to write it down and to taste it. So, quick, quick, guys. I can't tell what the spice is just by looking at it. Um, it could be either cumin or fennel, just from the shape of it. Three, two, one. Time's up. Lift your boards. I didn't write anything down. Not proud of it, but that's what I did. The correct answer is fennel. Oh. <laughs> Yes, I am right. I am out of the first elimination. Here we go, next round. You may taste your next bun. I pick up bun number two. I'm sniffing it again. I break a piece from the side, try to taste it. I can taste that there's sesame on top of the bun, but inside the bun and everything else just tastes like nothing. <laughs> Three, two, one. Your time is up. Reveal your boards. And the correct answer is caraway. Let's start the next round. This is coriander. I gained it. Coriander is in Guys, 
Lift your boards in three, two, one. Coriander seed. You. <laughs> I am Indian. <laughs> I'm okay. You may start the next one. These buns are so difficult because after the second and the third one, they literally are all tasting the same. That's it. The correct answer is aniseed. Oh my gosh. I'm so relieved. Only four of you left. The heat is definitely on. Go. I'm just winging it because I don't know what half these spices taste like. Three, two, one. Uh, I'm not here to, to, to eat and taste it. I'm here to bake, so this challenge eh, is too much for me. Guys, the correct answer is cotton. Oh. And start the next one, please. There's only four of us left, and I'm feeling so anxious. Stop writing and reveal your answers, please. The correct answer is old spice. I knew it's not a spice, and I wrote pistachio. I do feel like a nut. <laughs> Guys, you might taste your next bun. Go ahead. The pressure's on. I'm, I'm, I'm licking this bun. I'm tasting it. I'm chewing it. I'm pulling it apart. I'm smelling it. I'm trying to figure out what the hell this thing is. Time's up. The correct answer is garlic powder. Ooh. 30 seconds. Go. I'm opening the bun and the first thing I see is some black streaks and black, and I'm like, this has to be black paper. Hold up your boards, please. And the correct answer is black paper. I am so relieved. I am not going to the elimination challenge. Right, the two of you, you're going straight into the elimination challenge, so please leave the kitchen. So I'm from Durban, the home of spice. My aunties watching this are literally going to look at me and be like, where did we go wrong with this child? Congratulations to the eight of you still in the game. To celebrate, we decide to give you a treat, a sweet cake pop. Won't be nice. Anything that is given generally has a twist or there's T's and C's attached to it. Everyone, please take a pop and pass it on. Zola is telling us that these are a reward and I know that they're not. There has to be something else. Zola would never just give away sweets. Oh, I can smell teamwork in those cake pops. It is what it is. Everyone can go ahead and take a bite. Mm -mm. Mm. I bite my cake pop and it's red inside. And what's happening? I'm just looking around, and around at all the contestants. <laughs> You'll notice that some of you have matching cake pops. If you haven't guessed it yet, it's a team challenge. <laughs> your teammates, obviously, will be the ones with the matching cake pop as yours. And if you thought things were spicy, they're about to get spicier. This is a relay bag. Oh, I knew it. <laughs> Two members of your team will receive the brief and they will start the challenge. The other two members of your team will leave the kitchen. At the halfway mark, your other two team members will tag in and complete the challenge. You will have exactly one minute to fill your teammates in on what you've done. Thereafter, the first teammates need to leave the kitchen. I don't see how this is going to work. What's at stake? The members of the winning team will each walk away with an AEG pizza stone kit. I really want that pizza stone. My friend recently moved into her new place and we do pizza nights. Honestly, that would just be amazing and would just be so much more special to share that with them. The members of the other team, however, will move directly to the elimination challenge. Right, we'll give you a chance to assemble into your teams. Then we'll give you a few moments to decide which teammates will be starting the challenge and which two will leave the kitchen for now. What's up, friends? <laughs> My name is Angelique. I am from Kempton Park, Johannesburg, and I'm a self-taught vegan home baker. 
I quit my job to become a full-time home baker because I love baking so much. It is definitely a way for me to express my love to people through my food, as well as create pieces of edible art that just brings joy to people. Growing up as a tomboy, I really didn't have much interest in baking, but now as I am on my vegan journey, I've really grown to love the science behind baking. Winning Taste Master SA would really mean the world to me. It would just prove that all the hard work, sleepless nights, working till three o'clock in the morning has definitely paid off. On this season of Taste Master SA, I'm going in swinging and I'm definitely baking my heart out. Strong bakers, we see strong think, bakers. I think it's more about that people are gonna choose to bake. Everybody's trying to figure out how we're going to determine who's staying who's going to bake first, who's going to bake second. And we just thought that putting our strongest two in first to get it going, and then we can just wrap it up in the end would be the best bet. I think so we should actually can... split the dynamics. Mm. You should. I think we should go first. What do you think? You have a deciding Maybe we must split. I volunteer to bake first because I have the tendency to want to be in control. Team Red, who will be baking first? Shane and myself are going to go first. And Team Yellow, who will be baking first on your side? So Heel and I will go first. Right, the others, please leave the kitchen. Good job. Okay. Uh, Shanae and I are going to bake first because we want to set the team up for success. I feel as though we can do this quite well. This is definitely the spiciest challenge we have had on the Taste Master essay yet. Right, are you ready to find out what you'll be baking? Hmm? Yes. yes. <laughs> Your challenge is to create a plated dessert that hero spices. Your bake must contain three elements, a baked base, a filling, and a topping. And don't forget your secret weapon, royal baking powder. You must use at least three spices from our beautiful spice pantry, and how you use it is completely up to you. You will only have one hour to complete this challenge. And after 30 minutes have passed, you need to tag in your other teammates. Are you ready to bake more memories? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> your time starts in... Three, two, one. Get baking. One hour is a short amount of time, but I feel good because I'm confident in how fast I work in the kitchen. Baking a spicy dessert is interesting because I don't use spices when I bake. I love spices. I'm really excited to bake a spicy dessert. We're making a cardamom sponge with a chai cream and poached pineapple. I decided to go with this dish because cardamom is one of my favorite spices to work with. It's very warm and comforting to me. And I also wanted to add something spicy. So we're doing poached pineapple with peppercorns just to add like a little zing to the dish. Cool. You had said that you wanted to do a what? Was it like? Yes, okay. You can still do my uh, pap sucre. Uh -huh. it's, a, no. it's a sweet dough, okay, like a pastry, yes, and like a tart sweet. dough. We're making chai, so we need like anise, allspice, cardamom, you know, those kind yes, of spices. I took the role to just be the sous chef just because I don't want the pressure of if we go into elimination, it's because of my dessert and my recipe. So I just like, you know what, you told me what to do, and I'm just gonna stop. Right, lots of spicy things yeah. in today's challenges. I wonder what spices they're gonna go to, ones that they know or ones that they maybe a little bit more challenging. I them. wonder, you up the game a little bit. I would go with what I know in this case. You know, Absolutely. I think there are so many twists and turns already. Mm. The spices I'm using in my chai are cloves, cinnamon, bay leaf and cardamom. The bay leaf is unusual, but I used it when I was working with people from India and that's how they showed me how to do it and I love the taste. I'm starting with the creme patissiere and I'm going to infuse the milk with the spices and add some coffee beans to it to infuse the milk. It's dirty chai because of the coffee beans. I'm using royal baking powder to make my cardamom sponge because baking powder is the key ingredient in a cake and royal baking powder just makes it light and fluffy and I can't live without it. So we've got a sweet crust pastry that's going to be spiced with speculoos, which is a, um, a spice blend that originates from the Netherlands. 
It has warm flavors to it. Cinnamon, cloves, nutmeg, cardamom, and a seed, coriander seed also. I'm gonna cut the pineapple. So you wanted small cubes, eh? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what we're making, I just know what I must do. And I think that's the best way to work in a team is when someone just takes the lead. And part of me would love to do my own dessert, but Tahila won the last challenge, so I trust her fully. If there's gonna be one person I trust, it's Tahila. First thing I want to get done is make the popcorn. I do not have time to look for a lid, so I'm just going to use this baking tray to cover my pot. I just have to wait for it because it keeps falling. <laughs> the Chardonnay kitchen seems relatively under control. It means you've obtained some flow as a team, which is a great sign. I want to ask what the popcorn is for, but we're making. <laughs> I'm going to make a caramel popcorn that's going to be the topping for our dessert. And how are you planning the spice integration yeah. in this bake? The spice will be incorporated into our sweet crust pastry, which will be a little bit of this, the speculas. And then in the creme pat that Chane is busy making. Well, if you get that texture right, yeah. it's going to be a winning combination. Mm. <laughs> so this, is this what, what's happening? Yeah, so that's going to boil, and then now you're going to cut up the pineapple and okay, cool. small pieces, throw it in there. Okay, cool, got it. Got it, got it, got it. I love what's happening here, Tahila. Thank Can you. Tell me a little bit about so this? that is um, Catherine's mix of chai spice. So, so what is the dessert? It's going to be um, in a glass. There's going to be layers of cake and filling, kind of like a tiramisu, but not really. It's um, cake, chai foam, cake, chai foam, and then poached pineapple, with, um, which we're using pink peppercorns for. Is a dessert in a glass a plated dessert? I would consider it to be, but that is going to be up to you. Is a glass and I'm a double plate? thinking of it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> In here I've got flour, the royal baking powder, my spice mix over here, some icing sugar, butter and a little bit of egg. And that's going to be our sweet crust pastry. Contestants, we only have five minutes left until the handover. Make sure you get everything done that you plan to get done. What the heck? Oh my gosh, Tahila is spraying and it all shoots out the top. Coming up, as they approach the halfway mark in the challenge, will Tahila clean up her creamy mess before the handover? The seal on this is going crazy. Oh my gosh, Tahila is spraying and it all shoots out the top and now the cream's going everywhere. The seal on this is going crazy. I had a malfunction with the spooner, so I'm hoping that they're able to save this cream. <laughs> well, the cake is in the oven, Catherine's poaching the pineapples. This is the last thing. Just waiting for the custard to thicken. And then our sauce there, our flavorless. I'm gonna take yeah. this out. Okay. I'm gonna put cling wrap over it. Okay, take it out of there yes. so that it doesn't continue to cook. Contestants, your fellow teammates are entering the kitchen. Remember, you have one minute for the handover. What's up? Okay, so there's a cake in the oven. We've made the popcorn. Yeah. This is the caramel for the popcorn. Okay. And the spoon malfunction all came out, so there's cream in the fridge. liquid 15 seconds for the handover, 15 seconds left. What are the key ingredients? Cardamom? Cardamom, chai, Cardamom and then chai. So pink peppercorns. Pink peppercorns, okay. Yeah. Five, four, three, two, one. The second half of the teammates, please leave the kitchen now. Please keep an eye on the caramel. Bye, good luck. <laughs> it's a full-on panic, nobody really knows what's happening, and a minute is nothing. It's nothing, and it was over so quick, and they were gone. The handover went really quick. I'm a bit hesitant at what needs to go with what. Let's turn things up a bit. Okay, so they've left us with enough. We're going to take over from here and just run with it. I'm just putting this in the freezer so that it can cool down for a bit. We have pastry in the fridge, we have pastry cream, caramel popcorn, 
and we trying to figure these elements out. I'm sorry. It's like good. Let's, let's take it out. It would you. I am taking the sponge out of the pan so that it cools quicker. As long as this cake cools, we're going to finish. My name is Tsebi Sonyagani, a 35-year-old from Soweto in Pratia Glen. I run a company called Be Gifted Hands. In my business, I specialize in custom cakes and wedding cakes. And the reason why I love wedding cakes is because it's just something about being a part of people's special day. I'm preparing a wedding cake. It is a four-tier wedding cake. Uh, the theme is white with a bit of bling. Apart from baking, I YouTube. I share recipes on my YouTube channel. I am a mother of three beautiful girls. I'm married. I love spending time with my kids. So one way of doing that, doing those decorations, is quite messy, but it's fun. This season on the Tastemaster SA, I'm going to win that 50,000 and prove that you do not have to be professionally trained to know what you're talking about in the kitchen. Derek, mm. brood it and save my brood it. It's a beautiful buttery pastry. I can taste uh, a lot of spice in there. It's my lacquer. <laughs> <laughs> so how was the handover, Team Yellow? What Very are we making? Do you know what you're making? Okay. Um, we're making, we're going to layer the glasses with sponge, syrup, a cream. A spicy parfait. A parfait. Right, is a parfait yes. a plated dessert? I am having a lot of second guessing. So to be safe, rather, put it on a plate, just to make sure that a plated dessert is what it is. Is it enough? Dee told me to cut the dough into little rings. I assume it is a cookie, so I just cut the rings out and bake them. The point of roasting the pineapple is to make sure that it's cooked because I need it to cook really quickly. We don't have enough time. Engine Derek, how do you want to get this? Uh, that's just buy it off. No, honestly, chaotic. <laughs> was, actually, we're don't even know what they were right doing. Yeah. I'm not sure what they were, were doing. So, so you say that more components are being used than the actual final dish is being used. This is right. Yeah. 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 Het jullie een idee hoe dit moet lijken of hoe dit gaan lijken? Ons prima net die element, kijk wat er is en dan gaan ons bijzet en net als bij elkaar zetten om een beautiful te plaatsen. Tijd is niet aan jullie kant. Ja. Dus formuleer nou een finale idee en breng het net bij elkaar. Ik denk dat is die doel. Ja. Dank je. Sterk. I feel the caramel popcorn is still hot, is still tacky. I just want to put it in the fridge for a short while, maybe a little hot now. Just need to get the cream in here. Yeah. yeah, that'll be fine. I'm going to add gelatine to the matcha mousse. Oh, so it's quick. So it sets quicker. It thickens quicker. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. Hi, my name is Zakelin Josie. I am from Soweto. I'm 29 years of age. I am a professional chef. My mother inspired me to become a baker at a very young age. Growing up in a house full of wonderful aromas, I was just enticed to take that journey that she started as well. I entered the Taste Master because I want to show my skills in the kitchen. I want to push the boundaries of my limits. The special Zara Zara is the finesse in what I do. And I just love to make sure that, you know, there's a bit of enthusiasm that goes with it. So today I've baked a strawberry chiffon eaten mess cake. It is beautiful, delicious, and simply amazing. Winning the Taste Master essay would be a seal of approval to the undercover pastry chef within me. I'm going to bring a bit of that Zara Zara magic to make sure that the secret pastry chef is happy. I can get it prod in on Sulafash element fun uh, gooseberry salsa and set that break net all is what it is. But let us buy the gooseberry salsa set. Um, orange juice. Orange juice. I said from spring peppercorns. We have no idea what the plan was with the popcorn. The only thing I can think of is to blitz it up and use it as an element in the stack. Mm. Check out cookies. 
Alle la eit is hulle nou weer is, hulle moet afkoel. Let's cut the sponge. Into circle? Yeah. Come on, then. We start thinking about getting this all together. It's, it's crazy. Contestants, this is your 10 minute notice. 10 minutes left. Bring this thing together. Come, Come on, guys. guys. Come on, guys. Last push. I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, the right, but like, I don't have the bigger picture of what we're doing. So okay. after lunch, and then, and then... then you put the pineapple. Where's your cooked pineapple? Yeah. It's burning. Ooh. Ah, it's burnt. What's okay. that? With the garnish. Oh. I've got a minute on it. Okay. It's a floor mold. The fancy part. Contestants, you have five minutes left. This is your final five minute call. So you should be finishing off your beautifully plated desserts. And here come your teammates to watch you finish it off. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited because I'm watching Zex and Seppi and they've got it going on. Everything's almost on the plate. They look pretty chilled. I've got goosebumps. I'm super excited because we didn't know what we were leaving them with. I mean, they could have done anything. Understood. Derek and Angelique are busy plating this dessert. It is looking wobbly. So it's like more maybe gooseberries and a pepper. Contestants, your time is up in 10, Ten. 9, 8, 7, 6, it's 5, be a 4, 3, <laughs> 2, 1. <laughs> Stop baking. <laughs> it feels like I'm letting the team down. We did the best that we could with the challenge that was presented and the elements that we had, I think we made work. I know the spices then. Yeah, our flavors definitely. <laughs> it was definitely a pressure cooker, um, but I think we are all proud of what we've been able to accomplish, a plated dessert. Mm. Woo! Oh. Team Yellow! Team Yellow! Yellow. Go! <laughs> Next up, after a heated finish, Team Yellow is looking confident, but will they walk away with a victory? Now it's up to the judges. How do you think they did? Right, the spice challenge yeah. done and dusted. How do you think they did? It was a little bit chaotic, I think, but from what I've seen, it looks promising. Decent. promising. You know, I was hoping to be a bit more moved and inspired by the spices mm. and by that experience of the bake. I think that's always what tantalized me about this challenge. Yeah. And so I'm hoping that they deliver. Mm. Yeah. We all hope for the best. Right, should we bring on the first team? Absolutely. Let's. I'm honestly embarrassed of what's in front of the judges. It's not finesse. It doesn't look attractive because we eat with our eyes first. There's a lemon wedge that's giving battered hake and there's no battered hake on our plate. Red team, welcome and thank you. D, what you envisioned to be the end product being put forward to us today for this tasting, how do you feel like it came out and what was different? The way that the dessert has been plated is how I envisioned it to be. However, the texture of the creme patissier is not what I thought it would be. Derek, so where did you guys, um, where are the, where's the spice element? In the, in the biscuit there is, I believe, a five spice. Um, Sorry, I didn't make it. I made my own spice blend to make a speculoos spice blend and that's in the short crust sweet pastry. And then Shawnee also put some spices in the creme pat. My question is with regards to the plating. I heard all the spices and all the flavors included in the actual dessert. Lemon didn't come anywhere into play. Why is there a lemon wedge? And should I squeeze the lemon over the dessert? What is its purpose? 
The lemon is mostly for garnish purposes, but we did use citrus in the gooseberry salsa that is on top because we actually did the gooseberry salsa with some orange juice and then we put the pink peppercorns with the gooseberry salsa on top. I'm haunted by this lemon slice. There's no lemon in our dish. I don't know why I didn't stop the lemon slice from going on the plates. Thank you. Red team, we'll taste now. Thank you. Was the crushed peppercorn part of the original idea? No, it was so part of the... the addition. Mm, the gooseberries. It left it. Mm. Mm. The texture of the creme pat is wonderfully silky. Mm. The biscuit for me, lovely and short, crumbly. Again, I think a, a lot of those beautiful components are taken away by the assembling of this product. Yeah. Mm. You know, just split and pushed together and pressed out. Yeah, I think takes away a little bit of those. Maybe one biscuit would have sufficed. Mm. One Agreed. Biscuit. Just a little more thought, a little bit more refining, and they were almost there. Mm. Uh, absolutely, I think that's um, that's a good good summary. Mm. Right, Team Yellow, it is now. Mm. We're going to the judges. And I am very skeptical about our plate. I know it tastes good, but I'm not sure about the plating. Thank you. Team Yellow. This looks really beautiful. Are you all happy with how it went, Tahila? I'm very happy with the way it turned out. I think I really do prefer this look to what it would have been in a glass. I'm really happy that they made the decision to change it. Looks absolutely fascinating. I can see little specks and I'm assuming that's the spice. Catherine, can you tell me what spices you have? Sure. We did a cardamom cake and then we did a chai cream. Did you guys toast, toast any of your spices? No? Nope. Zakele, the first half of your team was doing such a good job. What changes did you make to ultimately put this on the plate for us? Uh, the problem that we had was with the chai cream so it didn't want to sit quickly enough and what I then tried to do is that I tried to incorporate gelatin to change it into a chai mousse. That is what we have in front of you. So you're very quiet over there. Is there anything that you changed that you think definitely made this better than the original plan? Uh, Zakel and I did a very good job with the plating so we came up with how we can plate and make it look like it's in a restaurant. So. She's shimmering and shaking as she says it. <laughs> okay, well on that note, we will taste now. Thank you very Thank much, you Yellow Team. I think we nailed the brief because we put a dessert on a plate. We had eight spices in it and we had multiple elements. Guys, this looks fun and festive mm. and... Uh, generous, definitely. Generous. You say that. Mm. So what I've noticed here is some of the pineapple still has the peel on it. Mm. The mousse is, is a lovely texture. I think mm. what Zakela did to rescue what it was before and I think so I enjoyed that. And make it into that. I feel like using pineapple as the kind of like the hero or the guideline for the spice is a great choice mm. because it works so well with the spices. Mm. And like you said, the mousse and even the sponge, the cardamom sponge, offers a great platform to celebrate this hero. The flavours really complement each other. I love the freshness of the pineapple, the sh little bit of sharpness, and um, I love the texture of the sponge. Mm. I like that. Mm. Well done, Team Yellow. <laughs> now we need to decide hmm, which team brought the spice more than the other. Well done, all of you. You definitely rose to the spice challenge. Before we let you know our decision for today, I would first like to say a big thank you to Fairuza. Thank you. For joining us today and judging, and also for teaching you all about the wonders and aromas of spice. Thank you so much. Mm, thank you. Thank you guys. It was an absolute pleasure being here and teaching you guys a little bit about spices. Maybe just to remind you, this challenge was all about spices. I would have liked to, when I was walking around or just sitting down, just smelling more of the spices. Remember, spices are dead as they are, as you see them. You need to bring them alive. From our side as judges, we want to say to both teams that we felt that your plates lacked a bit of finesse, a bit of class, a bit of refinement. Both teams need to Think about your plating, think about the balance of your plates, how much you put on a plate, and the whole eating experience. 
Team Yellow, it definitely needed balance on the plate. There was too much sponge, not enough cream or mousse. We did, however, think that the mousse flavor was really lovely and the texture was technically great. So well done for improvising and making that come across really, really well. Team Red, I really loved the cookie, the biscuit. Um, I could actually pick up some spice. I think it was nutmeg in that cookie. I'm just not sure about the lemon that was on the side. That threw me a little bit, but I love the texture. And maybe it was the addition of cream cheese to that that really gave it that nice tartness. I, I love that about um, your dessert. The feedback is accurate, but disappointing as well. Something I want to remind both teams of is that communication is key in this competition. This was really put to the test today, and I believe better communication would deliver better dishes today overall. Hearing that the dish was off balance, I feel like I failed my team. I'm confident we are going into the elimination round. So as you know, each member of the winning team will walk away today with an AEG pizza stone kit, and they will sit out the next round. Unfortunately, the other team today will enter into the elimination challenge. And so we have decided that the winning team for this challenge is the yellow team. <laughs> Congratulations, guys. It was a delicious dish. The spices were well integrated, in balance with each other, and it was really a dish that we could enjoy. Oh, we won. I'm happy, relieved, we are all saved, and we're also getting an AEG pizza stone kit, baby. Show me, show me, show me the pizza. Ray team, you will be joining Josh and Senzo in next week's Elimination Challenge. And for next week, it's not about what you put in, it's what you leave out. See you next time. And for those of you at home, I hope you've been inspired. Don't forget to bake something spicy using royal baking powder. Load it onto socials using the hashtag TheTasteMasterSA and you could win your very own KitchenAid. We can't wait to see you bake more memories. The next challenge is the last time I can use my royal baking powder pin and I really want to save someone. I'm really feeling devastated. I'm just hoping that one of them pulled through for me. This opportunity for me to learn and grow can be taken away in a blink of an eye. One bake and it's all gone and you're gone. Next week, the bottom six contestants enter the second elimination challenge. Who will survive and take one step closer to the grand prize of 50,000 rands in cash from Royal Baking Powder, 82,000 rands worth of KitchenAid products, 50,000 rands worth of AEG appliances, plus the opportunity to be a face of future SABC cooking shows. Join us again next Friday at 7. Repeat Sundays at 3 on SABC2. Uh, never feel good production.